Alpha Gopher Auto Sequence Start Columbia's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds. 15 seconds. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. We're go for main engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're booster ignition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia with a multitude of national and international space research experiments. Houston now. Control flying to Columbia. International research mission finally underway. Roger roll Columbia. Columbia now rolling onto the proper azimuth for a 39 degree inclination to orbit. Shuttle in a heads down wings level position for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. 30 seconds into the flight. The three liquid fuel main engines beginning to throttle back in three step fashion to 72% of rated performance, reducing the stress on shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Columbia already two and a half miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, four and a half miles in altitude, the main engines beginning to rev up to full throttle, 104% of rated performance. Columbia Houston, your go at throttle up. We copy go at throttle up. The throttle call acknowledged by Commander Rick Husband, joined on the flight deck by pilot Willie McCool, flight engineer Colt Narshorvar and mission specialist Dave Brown, mission specialist Lowell Clark, payload commander Mike Henderson and payload specialist Elon Raymond seated down on the mid-deck. 1 minute 26 seconds into the flight, Columbia, 10 miles downrange, 13 miles in altitude, travelling at 1800 miles an hour. He's away from solid rocket booster separation. Everything looking good on onboard Columbia. Solid rocket booster separation confirmed guidance now converging. Columbia's onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to gently swivel, aiming the shuttle for a precise target in space for main engine cutoff.